Right, thanks everyone for supporting my videos. Like I said, I really appreciate it and I love the support, I really do. Now I'm doing this video on, um, because someone asked me to in the comment section, um, excuse me, I'm a fucking raging flu man in a minute, but, you know, got to carry on, didn't we? So anyway, he asked me to talk about murders that I've seen in jail, and the one that really sticks to me was this. So when I was in Feltham jail, back in 1999 and 2000, the screws used to make us fight each other. They were fucking sadistic bastards. They used to go and drink on a Friday, come back and make us fight for their own entertainment. Remember, we're only boys, like fucking, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're young, man, damaged as well, and they loved us kicking the fuck out of each other. And they got a real bad fucking problem with this fucking Indian guy. They fucking hated him because he wouldn't fight. And he was only a short term, uh, you know, I think he was doing like 12 weeks. I can't remember off the top of my head, yeah. But I remember the guy that they put him in the cell with. And he had a swastika tattoo there. You know, from when the old Indian ink he used to get. For guys who don't know what Indian ink is, you know, look at some of the shit tattoo, that's fucking crap, that's Indian ink. So, you know, they put him banged up together, and that night he took a table leg and beat him to death, right? So, his mum and dad thought that when they opened the gates, that his, their son was coming out, but it wasn't, it was the priest to tell him that their son had been murdered, yeah? And there was a massive investigation of that. Absolutely massive. And I was in only jail, and the police asked me to get interviewed. And I remember the screw saying to me, if I get involved in this, yeah, my life would be hell throughout the prison system. So, when the screws, and I had been set up with fights before, some I'd lost, some I hadn't, you know. And I went into the police. They asked me if I knew anything. I said, no. They asked me, was fighting um, part of, the screws make us fight each other? I was like, I'm not sure. I was never part of it. You know, you done the run of the mill, pretty much a no comment interview. And now at 40, I can never watch kids beat each other up, I'm that sort of man, yeah, I really ain't, you know, and, you know, I think, you know, someone got killed, man, like, and he was going her fucking home, and the cunt that killed him, the guy with the swastika on his fucking head, you know, now I would think he was a fucking mug, I really was, I really would. But because he had a swastika on his head, he didn't give a fuck. The black boys left him alone, you know. But really, he was a bully. Like, they beat that guy up, beat him to death as well. Like, beat him to death with a fucking table leg. I wonder how many times he hit him with that. I wonder how that guy felt. You know what I mean? Like, prison, yeah, you know, I've, like, seen two murders, yeah. While I've been in jail. One of them was a guy that got stabbed too many times and ended up dying. And these are ones that are just off the top of my head, boys. you got to remember, I've seen so many suicides used to really bother me. I hated them. They made me feel eerie. They just felt so sad. Because I thought about suicide in jail. Anyone that says they haven't is a liar or hasn't got long enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, because when I was a... Uh, um, on remand for a, uh, an offence that was going to get me life in prison, I had fucking escaped, yeah? So when I got caught, I'm thinking, I'm about to get life, I'm an escapee, I'm not getting parole for years. I thought, fuck this shit. You know, because jail shit, man. You know what I mean? There's nothing good about fucking jail. But... Watching a lad get killed like that, you know, just for the screws and entertainment. And that's the one murder that stayed with me. And you can go on the paper and read about it. But remember, I was there, and I was young, 
And that's what people say to me. I look at Tom now, who, who's on the fridge at 20, and I wouldn't want that guy messing with me. I was a fucking lunatic, yeah? No, I wasn't a lunatic, right? People's level of violence was there. Mine was fucking here. I would have shot you dead cold in the pub. And I wouldn't give a fuck. Witnesses, I'd have just gone to jail. Now, I think, God, Tom, what the fuck are you thinking? That's why I got used a lot by gangsters and, you know, other people to do their dirty work. Because I was up for it. You know what I mean? I, I just didn't give a fuck. But yeah, murders in jail make you feel really scared and really kind of, you know, when you see the body getting dragged out, it's, you know, it's real, man. It's real. It's as real as it gets. And you think about that poor lad getting battered to death, you know? Everyone thinks they want to see it, but when they do see it, it's not as, it's not as fun then. You understand? But, you know, I'm really enjoying making these videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. The next one I'm going to do is, um, I might do one about drugs in jail, you know, like addiction, real addiction, what people do to, to sustain that addiction, from burgling cells to all sorts of shit. And, you know, I might do, like, there's so many stuff, I've got so much stuff, so it's just trying to pick the right stuff.